hello everyone today we will be trying to uh, reset our current sonic world to the factory settings and start from the scratch set it up so that we have uh, fresh settings with all the all the required services we'll be going step by step first setting up the network then setting up the content filtering and all of that so first here we'll try to reset it to the factory settings and then start from the scratch yes let's begin Let me pause this up uh, when this uh, this device restarts then I'll have to connect to the management port or X2 port as it's defined here. I just googled Sonic World initial and SSC initial setup and got the got into the Sonic World knowledge base. So here is the article. I'll be posting this uh, URL in the links. So here is how they, they, they are suggesting us. So we'll just go connect to the Sonic World directly because anyway, I'll not be getting the DHCP of any of these from the network and configure a static IP. See, we are on Sonic Pole 6.5 and later, so the IP address here is Now that I have changed settings, let's try to access this one 92.168.168. Not sure I'm still on the network, I haven't connected it directly. Yeah, it's working, so I can start from here. It says launch setup. We start click here, configure it manually. Click here. Okay, let's try with the setup result. We have to connect to the internet, register device, and also set up. Uh, okay. This is good. Username and password. So here I can configure my X1 static IPs. If you don't have static IP of other type, there are choices to try. However, I will go with static because I have a static IP. I have entered the static IPs for my service provider. Uh, yes, it gives me a summary of what I think this works on that mask I have entered. So now I have set a new password. So it will ask me to enter the password. So we get a welcome screen saying uh, your OS, what is used, system time and all of that so system time is something we have to change yes and we have serial number authentication code and you can register your device as well it's supposed to ask you username email and password so let's enter that because i already have it set up else you can register it So I, I, I'll prefer changing the default administrator name and password just like that because admin is something so common and you can you can randomly type something here with whatever you prefer. And the password security options you can see, complexity, new password, all of that, the security options you can modify here. Okay, and I, I also prefer changing the default ports. In. So I, I change that port to something random.
see I have changed the port number so it's redirecting me to the new port number so I just have to accept it and login again here is where we change the time so let's choose our time, time zone it's a set of diagnostic tools so you can see if the all interfaces are working are you able to reach the internet all of that yeah our connection is pretty much good and i also prefer changing this default 192.168.0 series to something that i prefer because so let's do that in what rules apply to each zone so if it is LAN you need client antivirus enforcement anti spyware app control all of those settings this will be our one zone so x1 is only interface we can add if you have one more internet provider or isp we can add that here the dns settings i prefer this is to open dns servers Let me use Google's DNS first. So here is where we change the DHCP. So if you want to set up DHCP to a, a different IP address range, here is where you do that. So if you have defined something like 10.0.0 series instead of this one, I need to can specify that here. And have a another session doing a DHCP content filtering and all of that. As of now, we 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 have got the network inside, and that's pretty much the initial configuration anybody will require. So we we'll just go through that. So we'll be setting up DHCP, setting up another interface and load balancing it, and also we'll be setting up the content filter services. We can set up app controls from firewalls. And maybe we should actually try to do a port forward, a remote RDP connection configurations, all of that. We'll be we'll be doing all of that in small small videos. As of now, I think we are good enough for the initial setup. For those who, those who just uh, wanted to see how we set up the first time, the uh, default DHCP something 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 that is I want to change every time. Right away when I set it up, I have to change it, but. We'll be doing it next.